This past week, supporters and opponents of a proposed Muslim cultural center and mosque near the former World Trade Center site rallied in downtown Manhattan. We need, America needs to man up right about now. We're bowing to Muslims that want to kill us, that hate us. Meanwhile, Ali Sufan, reputed to be the FBI's most skillful terrorist interrogator after the events on September 11, 2001, says that the opposition to building a mosque near Ground Zero is actually helping al-Qaeda. In an essay for Forbes magazine, Sufan wrote, quote, There are many reasons for supporting the Muslim community's right to build a cultural center and mosque on private property, not least of all the First Amendment of the Constitution guaranteeing freedom of religion. But from a national security perspective, our leaders need to understand that no one is likely to be happier with the opposition to building a mosque than Osama bin Laden. His next video script has just written itself. Sufan, a Muslim himself who cracked some of al-Qaeda's top operatives by rejecting harsh interrogation methods, noted that no American Muslims participated in the September 11th plot. But the current opposition to the mosque, mixed with, quote, poor and even harmful leadership within the American Muslim community and failed strategies from our government in dealing with the terrorist threat, could be undermining young American Muslims' support for their country. He wrote, quote, when demagogues appear to be equating Islam with terrorism, it's making young Muslims unsure about their place in the country. It bolsters the message that radicalizers are selling, that the war is against Islam and Muslims are not welcome in America. The proposal to build an Islamic center four blocks from a hole where the World Trade Center once stood in Lower Manhattan has fueled a web-based furor driven by conservative activists now joined by some influential Republicans and Democrats. Yet some Americans are determined to protect the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, which guarantees freedom of religion. We want to stand for the right of individuals to practice their religion where, where they choose, and we want to stand against what is rapidly becoming a, a, a climate of fear, hatred, and Islamophobia. 